Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a little bit of club testing today. James Robinson is trying to get me to replace the Seven Heaven. The monstrosity. Fantastic club. So we've got the new TaylorMade Stealth DHY, which is a little bit more forgiving. We've also got the Stealth that, I mean, that is beautiful, isn't it? Hang it in the Louvre. Hang it in the Louvre. James has lost the plot. So, James, which one are you having in this match? Well, guys, if people have watched my review today, I I want that one, but I think there's a lot to be said for this, and I think we're going to talk a little bit more on your channel about it, because it just worked insanely well. Perfect. Well, I shall start with the UDI. I will let you go with the DHY, and then we'll switch. Thank you very much. Do you want to kick us off, Chris? You lead us off for a change, James. I'm going to go off the floor, Chris, because this DHY is a quite kind of easy to launch, but still versatile enough to be able to kind of play it down. So, downwind, I'm going to try and play a bit of a stinger here. was glorious. Still no seven wood though. That's gone it? miles though. How did that feel? It says that felt good. That straight off the bat. Again, not used this before. That is the first shot and uh, great flight. Perfect for these conditions. Interestingly as well, the UDI. So I use a P790 UDI, but the Stealth UDI, similar to the Sim 2 UDIs we did have, a little bit bigger and chunkier. So a little bit more pleasing on the eye for someone like yourself. Yeah, it gives me a bit more confidence. So the reason for this video, guys, is mainly because, obviously, this time of the year, fairways are quite firm. We want to think about, can we get something off the tee that's easier to hit than a driver, but gets a lot of run? So obviously, these, the UDI, even though the DHY is a bit more hybrid, mm -hmm. you can still play shots like James did. And that's something that maybe is a little bit better. You can control it more forwards as opposed to a seven wood, Especially on a day like today, a lot of wind up there, it can be affected. We see both of those, we're not affected at all. Yeah, the big thing for me is the versatility of the DHY. So there's not really much difference in Stealth, UDI and DHY as well as the Sim and the Sim 2. That seems to match the brand of the, um, the drive and the fairways and the irons. But for me, yes, you can have a 7 wood for the summer or the winter, depending when you want to get that nice high ball flight that stops quick. Yep. But if you want a totally different club, the, U the UDI is the one. Whereas if you want one club for all occasions, the DHY is probably a bit better. And that's it. And with a 7 wood, sometimes it's, uh, it's hard to keep the ball down, especially if it is windy. But it's thinking about what golf course you're playing. If you're somewhere that's really tree-lined, something such as a 7 wood that's not going to be affected much by wind. If you're playing at Woburn, if you play somewhere down there with bigger trees, out of the wind. Yeah be a little bit better for going into the greens, softer greens. If you're playing somewhere it's a little bit more open, a little bit more affected by the wind, especially Lynx Golf coming up to the open, it's going to be a lot better to probably have something like the two clubs we're using today than maybe a seven. I think we'll see a few of these UDIs in the bag of the St Andrews in a few weeks time. I think so too. Right, that is a fair way missed but only just and I have, if I can get that flag, it's certainly not 230 yards, is it? I'd like to think not. 137 yards uphill into the wind, but two pretty good tee shots there. I mean, they're both out there in play, aren't they? I'm going to chip a nine iron up here. And this hole's playing downwind, so it shows it's still effective downwind. The next one will be the big, obviously, thing where we're starting to play into the wind and how effective it is compared to a wood. Good shot. Take that kick. Kick round. Oh, it's bound straight. I've had a nightmare. That's two disastrous bouncers. Right. I don't want to bounce like. It's another. Fa it's been a. It's been a day of hitting fairways. For you, yeah. Video on Thursday. Watch out for the wheelhouse. Watch out for the wheelhouse. The wheelhouse ball. Is that your new this? album coming out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, get in that bunker, please. Plug. No, that's fine. Just over the bunker. Terrible so, shot. It was a terrible shot, I agree. I've had an absolute nightmare there. The 
The plan was to just kick down into this bowl, but world's against you. To be fair, you've not got an easy putt. I have not. Oh, Chris, that's as good as you can do. Sit. Oh. I honestly could not get that close if you gave me a hundred goes. <laughs> right, we'll see that in. It's only a two hole match this, so if you go down now, it's not looking good. Flag yeah, out, please. I'll get the flag for you. Greens are good to say you timed them yesterday, aren't they? They are rolling. Ninja times, they are. Rolling pure. John and the boys. John back off his holiday in Vive la France. South of France. South. One day, Chris, we'll get there. Yeah. Monaco. Fingers crossed. Oh, it hasn't gone. You know, honestly... That was, I hit a good putt there. Just good putt. Bad one read. down, one to play. And we'll switch, we'll switch bats. All right. Right, we'll do the switch. And then we're also gonna hit a seven wood on here and show the oh, example wait. of. <laughs> do I have to? <laughs> What's wrong with a seven wood? You can. Hopefully, next month, I'll be getting fitted for a brand new spanking seven wood. Oh yeah, uh, 17. 17th of August, watch out, there could be a new Probably embargoed until like September though, so. Oh. At some point, the <laughs> seven one will be out. Right, so let's see if we can play this low into the wind, back in the stance. So even though it's a bit bigger. Oh. Again, you can still get The offset's off. got him. Well, it launched how I wanted, maybe not the direction that I wanted, but. Does that not suit your eye as much as this? No, I think that does put me off a bit. Do you know what it reminds me of? The, they're probably not going to like this. The ping? No, the Slazinger. Oh, yeah. Remember the Slazinger yeah, yeah. all hybrid irons? Yeah. Not the best review there of them, but. <laughs> See, that's what I don't like about this, because you don't get this out the middle, and you're really not getting that element of forgiveness. Yeah, there was no forgiveness there, but we will put the trust. I tell you what, we're going to have another one of those into this green. We are going to have another one into that. Do you want another one? Oh, look at that. There you go. Switch your route. Seven wood. Let's see if we can try and play it low. Again, well, I couldn't a, play it low, but it's a perfect shot. It's a great shot, but you see there, as soon as you try and play it low, it wants to spin high, yeah. and we lose the distance. So it'll be interesting there to see... I even took a divot there. I got that steep trying to get it low. James has hit that well, but I think mine might have gone past there. Right, so prime example there, you'll see in the fairway that even you misstruck I two struck iron. This terribly as well. Because it's come low, it's not been affected too much from the wind. It's not span up. It still ran past... The ball in the fairway, so even a good can seven. Have a DHY wood, for this shot. I can give you the DHY for a small fee. Lost my teeth then. And again, you'll see that mine is up there, probably another 20, 25 yards. It was struck well, and that's way past where the seven wood would be. I'm just going to try and play it fairly high here because the wind's off the right now. We've changed a little bit, changed angle. Quite so hopefully the wind will just bring it in. Come on, wind! I nailed that as well. Straight. Just out to the right hand side. So easy to launch, though. Yeah, you see two different flights there. You if see I it. hit the same shot there with the UDI, is that going to stay lower under the wind? With a triple track. So again, that launched nice, like it would, closer to what a hybrid would you'd expect to see. This, however, will stay lower. I would expect. Much lower, that's much more a penetrating flight, isn't it? Much more direct. And that's up there, that's on the that's gone along. And that's gone long. So the difference in the ball flight there has been probably 20, 30 yards yeah. the difference. Right, so I've got far enough I don't need to use the UDI. But you see, even there, that's a great shot into this wind. I don't this need tee. to use the UDI. I don't need to use the UDI. Unfortunately James did because he hits it like Say it. 
like a person with a slow swing speed uh, and a terrible striker of the ball. Right. That's basically a UDI there. That's one of your norm lines, isn't it? That's a great shot as well. That could go in, you know. It's gone long as well. Oh. Also long, but much easier. Even using the hybrid off the tee into this breeze has been better than maybe hitting driver, ballooning it up there. Probably coming to the same distance can control the flight much better. Yep. Right, so my DHY is actually kind of flag high, so it probably was the right club and the right shot for the wind. The wind just didn't bring it back like I thought, thought it was going to do. I've got an impossible chip here. Yes, you have, and I've got mine's gone a little bit long with the four iron, but hopefully I'll be able to two put from there. Trusty 60. 60. You, this is probably where you'd use it. Yeah, you need to land probably on the first metre of the green. Needs a flop. Had the aerial prowess. So this is James's second one. So you can see it's probably gone 30, 40 yards further. So same swing. Was but that a practice different... put that one? Case. But the different ball flight, it's obviously gone a lot further than the uh, than he expected. So much harder to control into the green. So maybe something for off the tee, but then the DHY for going into the greens were a lot more versatile. Just a double breaker, turning. Oh, that is scandalous. Oh, we're even using the DHY here for a little bit of a round the green. Can I have that out, please, Christopher? Certainly can. Ooh, good effort. I quite like it for that shot as well. I did that in my review. You know, rather than putting, just something a bit fierier off the face. Yeah, it's something like a seven wood you could use round the green, but because it's so forgiving, it's a good club. Whereas I don't think with the UDI, it'd be uh, look as nice down to the ball and repeatable. Oh, well done. Solid stuff. <laughs> See you tomorrow, James. Uh, so guys, those two clubs there, the new Stealth Driving Iron and... Well, both Driving Irons, but the DHY... What are your thoughts? Because you don't really do club reviews, do you? Are you... Again, for me, I would be the similar to you. Most people would want the UDI because they've seen that. It looks a lot like previous ones, but the DHY is a lot bigger. It's a lot more forgiving. And for me, it was the easiest to hit of the two. Again, we was able then to still get a good distance. We then know we can get the ball flying a little bit higher. So for James into the green, it's a bit more user-friendly. Again, compared to the seven wood, like we saw off the tee, it's not going to balloon up as much. We can do a lot more with this club. So it is a club that would be very good at the top end of the bag, and especially in these conditions. In the winter, maybe not as effective, just because it's not going to get as much run. But for the summer, a perfect club. I'm not sure you'd be jumping out of a Sim or a Sim 2 UDI or DHY to get in one of them. I think they're very, very similar. Yeah. I think if people want to match the setup, then that's fair enough. But um, I'm not sure it's a, a total game changer. Just a good club. Be in the market a, for one. It is a good club until the new 7 would arrives.